Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, it's Tuesday. I streamed yesterday on the art channel. Like, I actually did go live. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on this channel, though. Oops. <laughs> I promise it'll be good. I promise. I promise. Let's see. We are at 43 subs, so let's let's go back to 50. Can we hit 50 today, guys? Maybe? Um, let's say... What has happened since the last time I streamed? Last time I was live, I think it was Wednesday. You guys got the update on the art channel, so go watch the VOD on the art channel, at peace and underscore art. But, some big updates that I will go a bit deeper into. Oops. Hold. There we go. Um, so on the YouTube Clips channel, so youtube.com slash at peace in 17 clips. My goal for the summer is to upload um, a landscape edited clip every other day. So right now I have 10 videos queued, I think. So that way we have enough for like two weeks. Because YouTube announced today that they're changing the eligibility requirements for partnership. Instead of needing a thousand subs, they're rolling out to only where you need 500. And for watch hours, they're requiring 3,000 watch hours or 3 million short views. So, this is good news. This is great news. My channel might get monetized quicker, which would be amazing because, you know, I'm a brokey. I need every little penny I can get. So, everybody, go subscribe to the YouTube Clips channel. You're not going to get the shorts that you see on TikTok and IG. You're going to get YouTube exclusive videos now. I mean, you're still going to get the, the shorts. It's just you're going to get special YouTube-only clip videos now. Let's see, let's see, what else, what else? Oh yeah, so yesterday on the art channel, because we're doing the normal dictionary calligraphy, but I wanted to start a Zen Doodle journal. So I think the plan for summer is to do um, the dictionary calligraphy and then Zen Doodling once a week. So I started a journal yesterday on stream. And what I want to do is I want to do a prompt for every day. I'm not... I'm not doing it every day. That'd be insane. That would be crazy. <laughs> but every time I do a Zen Doodle on stream, I'll do a different prompt. So yesterday's prompt was lines. So all the doodles, I, I had to fill in an 8x6 rectangle with doodles that revolved around lines. So if you like art, go follow my Twitch channel, peace in underscore art. My goal is to do... Like I said, the dictionary calligraphy is in doodling. And if I have more time, I'll do painting. Also, everybody, 11-11, make a wish, make a wish. What else, what else? I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else really new that's happened. I've only really been working on, like... Just queuing up videos for the summer. That's my main concern right now. Because I know summer is gonna go crazy on this channel. That's when my, my channel popped off a bit last year. So we're probably gonna get a lot of new chatters. So hopefully that'll be great. Um, any other... What did I do this weekend? What did I do? Oh yeah, I did homework. Oh, I streamed Sunday, that was it. We did the portrait cards on Sunday. I can't even remember. I think plan for this week, Mario Kart today. I'm feeling fine, I'm still like really tired just in general. Uh, Mario Kart today, Zelda tomorrow. Maybe a one-off game Thursday or Friday, and I might do a kitchen stream on Sunday. Maybe, if I have time. If I'm good and do all my homework, maybe I'll do a kitchen stream on Sunday. You know, it's been forever since I've done the chicken nugget stream. Also, I know I still owe a chat- I, I know I still owe chat a sub from last- last week for getting first. So if I get another first day, we'll just do another I owe you. Another IOU, it'll be fine. Because my Twitch payout is going to process by Friday. So next week, you guys will get your sub. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay, I know stalling. Let's play some Mario Kart. Okay, I do have only two Q cards now. We got through <laughs> one card in a month. So we'll see what we talk about today. Also, AMA, everybody. Ask me anything, and I'll be as honest as I can. Unless... No. <laughs> 200 CC as always. I have a really good stream idea for Mario Kart. Wait, I was gonna do ranking 
tracks. Shit. I'll do that next week. Remind me later this week to do ranking Mario Kart tracks next week. Or maybe- wait, I think I said I was gonna do that in July. Remind me in July. Hi, Chris! Welcome in! I swear my left joystick is fucked. Oops. Three month sub anniversary. Can't think of anything funny. Gotta go to work, but still wanted to say hi. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Thank you for the three months. You got a new sub badge. Let's go. Hi, Ryan. Can we get some wine? Oh, no. <laughs> it's not a lisp. It's W. Can we get some wine? <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> You'll get your name written at the end of stream. <laughs> And hi, Kobobo, welcome in. I appreciate the resub, Ryan. <laughs> okay. Oh no. I can't. Oh shit, I hate these wheels. I hate the wide ones. Dude, I swear to god, my Joy-Cons are busted. Look, I'm not even Okay, now now it's working. Full match. Why you know? I never had a problem with my R's, but my sister did. Not that I would tease her when I was younger, but... My parents, um, toxic behavior, what they would do, any time me or my sister would pronounce a name wrong, or a word wrong, or, like, misinterpret a phrase, like, you know, when pigs fly, they would write it down on a sticky note on the fridge and then tease us. And I remember, I thought it was like super cute and like, oh, that was cute. But then I was telling like some of my friends about it when I got older, they're like, oh, that's kind of mean. And I was like, oh, rip. <laughs> you couldn't pronounce napkin when you were younger? Okay, I would understand if it was a word like island, you know, the silent S, but napkin? I'll say I had like a sixth grade reading level when I was in like second grade, so I can't speak on your behalf, but <laughs> Okay, I'm at oh shit, I was gonna say I'm actually crushing, but never mind. This is I think one of my top three tracks forever. <laughs> oh my god, I'm throwing! This is what I get for making fun of you, honestly. Welcome in. I don't think I struggled pronouncing any words when I was younger. I'm trying to think, I can't really think of anything. I think it's because like I'm really good at hopping, so once I hear a word said one time, I can usually mimic. Oh my god! You would add a T? Well that's what my sister would do too. She would just add in letters randomly to words sometimes. Because she was really bad at copying. Okay, I'm actually throwing. But I know a big problem for me when I was younger it was I could read very well, but I struggled with reading comprehension. Like, understanding what I was reading. Ooh, Z! Okay, I, I flubbed too many times in that race, but you know what? Still on top, on top. Where I belong. Every time I look at the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe logo, I see something and it makes me chuckle. And I remember, okay, Chatters, if you know, you know, if you know, you know. And my sister, she is like the most wholesome person. She doesn't like swearing, she doesn't like vulgar jokes at all. 
And she was the one who pointed it out to me. <laughs> and I remember we were playing Mario one day. She's like, hey, did you ever see that logo? And I was like, what do you mean? And then she said it. And I was like, oh my god. I was like, how can you even say that? You're supposed to be innocent. Granted, this is one, like... I was 22 and she would have been 20, but still, it was so off-putting. Dude, she's gonna kill me if she hears that I told this story on stream. Nah, she doesn't watch anyway, don't worry. <laughs> I remember, there was one time I was asking my sister, I was like, Hey, I, I planned this special stream, do you think you can watch it? And she was like, no, I spend so much time with you at home, why would I want to spend more time at work watching your silly stream? And I was like, valid, valid. What'd she see? Use your imagine- oh my god, what was that even? You can use your imagination. Dude, I hate this line! I got it. No! Oh my god! <laughs> in the logo? In the loading screen. You'll see it, you'll see it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> oh, did it show it? Oh yeah, it's in the loading screen. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow! Thank you! Plus one, everybody. I'll pause and I'll explain it in a bit. <laughs> oh my god. I know the moment I say it and point it out, it's gonna make so much more sense. Guys, just don't show this VOD to my sister, okay? I'm not gonna say what I see. You guys can form your own opinions. Okay, so look at the- this screen! This screen! Okay, look at this white screen. And then look at the Mario Kart 8. You can form your own opinions. The joke is dead now, I'm not gonna expand further. 
<laughs> Joke is dead. <clears throat> Does anybody else like making straws out of Twizzlers? I remember I used to do that sometimes. But silly me, I would use it to... <laughs> drink water, so then the water would taste icky. But then, I remember one time, I think it was at like 7-Eleven, they had like promotional straws that were gummy, that you could have with the Slurpees, and then it clicked. I was like, oh, I should be doing that with like Sodi Pop. How do I still not know? Guys. Guys, come on. <laughs> You guys are too wholesome! I can't! I can't! She showed us clearly! I can't! Dude, it, this is gonna be bothering Koboba like literally all day and it's gonna click at like 10 p.m. And then they're gonna watch streams tomorrow and be like, this is coming up all night! Okay, that was fun. I didn't hit any walls though, that was actually surprising. I usually throw in that section. are getting way too good. <laughs> the joke is dead, but I- how did- Oh, and that was a three star. I threw. I never play as Luigi, but I'll give it a shot. Luigi. <laughs> I think I need your sister to explain it. I'm gonna look something up really quick. I'm, I'm like... Because I know it's not just me and her that see it. I remember seeing a meme about it. Okay, I'm not finding any memes. <laughs> I should practice these. Yeah, let, let's leave them clueless. I agree, I agree. On, let's move on. <laughs> okay, serious. I'm serious now. Throughout my whole time streaming, which is almost two years, my main goal has never been to achieve. My main goal has never been to achieve. I can't see achieve. My main goal has never been to achieve Twitch partnership. 
I've never had the belief that having a badge will make you a better creator or a better influencer, quote unquote. So that's never been a long term goal of mine. And I do think the requirements for a Twitch partnership are kind of small when compared to other platforms in terms of like getting monetization or verified. And especially with all the new updates concerning the affiliate and partner contracts, I do think there really is no difference in terms of value, monetization between affiliates and partners anymore. I think it would only make sense for me to apply for partnerships if I had like a really big platform. Because if I'm going to pick a partnership with a platform to do um, exclusive posting of content, I'd rather get a contract. Like an actual, you know, big bag money deal. I don't want to apply for partnership just to get a badge. I think it's kind of silly. And just because you apply for a Twitch partnership doesn't mean you'll get approved. There's people who have applied multiple times and gotten denied every time. And also, I think as an online creator, you can't necessarily put all your eggs into one basket. Because if you get deplatformed or banned, even temporarily, it can drastically affect your income and your influence over time. So I think it's important to be posting on every single platform. And I would only sign an exclusivity contract if I had an actual offer. No! Oh, dude, that was sick! Yes, I lined that up perfectly! I think everybody who has gotten partnership in the last two years is probably regretting signing a contract. Like, especially last week when they changed the terms and conditions, where now affiliates and partners basically sign the same monetization agreement. It's very bad. <laughs> it's not good. Guys, Amy, ask me anything. Baited so good the other day because like sometimes I'll get recommended Mario Kart tip videos in my YouTube shorts and this one creator was doing a video on which is the fastest path to take on Toad's Harbor and it was telling you like oh this is the worst path to take the worst lines but it was actually the paths that like <laughs> um, professional Mario Kart players take <laughs> And like everybody, like all the hundreds of comments were like, Oh man, this is the path I did all the time. I didn't realize it was the worst and it was so funny. You know, I don't mind a little bit of trolling, especially if it's in, like lighthearted. Were you ever a Girl Scout? No. I think it's because you have to pay for it. Like, I always liked the idea of doing Girl Scouts. I thought it'd be kind of fun. And I had a few friends who were part of it. And I remember they'd go on like annual camping trips and I was so jealous. But, I don't know. It's kind of like, I think it's good. Like those type of, I guess, extracurricular type, type activities are good. But it's kind of like pay to win. But we did buy Girl Scout cookies every year. My favorite Girl Scout cookies have to be the... Oh, I don't know what they're called, but it's the coconut ones with caramel. My mom would always get those ones. And then my dad would get the mint. The mint thins. <clears throat> but he was the only one who liked them. I would 
Honestly, like, don't... Okay. The Girl Scout cookies are overpriced. And there's been instances to where the funds raised through, girl, or through cookie sales didn't go directly to the actual troops. So... You're probably just better off donating to your local troops directly. But just, just buy the knockoff cookies. I think there's no shame in it. Dude, that line was perfect! Actually... <laughs> Dude, I can't... Any anytime I try to gloat or boast... character now. Yeah, I also have no shame in buying like store brand products either. I think when you're doing grocery shopping, it's fine to buy like cheaper things. I do think you should try to buy like higher quality meats and cheeses if you can. But like processed stuff, it's fine. You know, you don't need to buy the best olive oil, the best flour. Because it's not like those. I think if you're going to like grocery shopping, you should spend a bit more money on things that are typically kept fresh. But like dried goods, things that are used as non-core ingredients. I think it's totally fine to get the cheaper options. Also, I've noticed I've been slurring a bit more today. I, I've been waking up at like 5 every morning and I don't know why. I used to wake up at 7, but now I'm like waking up 2 hours earlier than I usually do. I don't get it. Sometimes the flowers matter. Oh, I mean, yeah, depending on what type, like, I know the macarons, they need to use almond flour. <clears throat> because different types of flowers will act differently once baked. What if you're just getting normal ass flour? You don't gotta buy the nice shit. everybody but I didn't I destroyed the red shell holy I've only successfully done that trick like two times now was the second time oh, that's weird potato I mean I don't like frying shit in general like I've only recently tried like pan searing things because for the longest time, I used to be scared of oil, like, popping in the pan. But now I'm, like, I'm still, like, a little bit scared, but I'm not, like, frightened whenever I have to, like, flip stuff over in the pan. What is nice about this unit, though, is that it has a lot better ventilation in the kitchen area. Because before, even, like, at my parents' house, whenever they would turn the fan on, shit, you could smell everything throughout the whole house. There was no notification for that blue shell. None at all. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I was like kicking my legs under my chair. <laughs> Man, that was a good race. I was on the edge of my seat. You know who else could be on the edge of their seats? The non-followers, because everybody, we are 30 minutes into stream. So if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and... The ability to type in chat. Can we hit our daily goal? We already got one new follower today. Smile. Yeah. 
Damn, two star. Damn. I kind of want to watch the Mario movie again. I think I'm going to try to convince my sister to rent it this weekend. I think I have three stars in all, please? Oh yeah, I do. I do. Yeah! I realized I never play as my me. <laughs> Dude, I look stupid. <laughs> So, <laughs> my sister and my roommate, they like to make little silly knees. <laughs> I'll just play as myself. <laughs> Track I like this pre is DK Jungle. You should play Shaggy. I was gonna play the other characters, but they only show the face. They don't show the hair, so that was kind of disappointing. <clears throat> yeah, I think right now you can... I think you can buy the Mario movie on YouTube and then other platforms, I believe. I usually buy movies on YouTube. Because I just like the UI of YouTube. What's my Applebee's order? I've only gone to Applebee's twice and it was with the same friend because they love Applebee's. Granted, this is one of my white friends, so it makes sense. It's, it's typical. And I got the same thing twice. <laughs> Because I feel like with a lot of American chain restaurants, they all serve the same thing. It's hamburger, steak, sandwich, or really shitty fake seafood. So I usually get a steak, because I, I don't know how to make a steak at home. I have successfully failed at making steaks the worst possible way. Um... <laughs> So I usually get- it's the one that has like the shrimp and cream sauce with the steak. It's pretty good. But I refuse to eat the broccoli. Their mashed potatoes are pretty decent though, the texture is nice. Come in, can we get some yo's? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me! Welcome in! Also, enjoy the free follower emotes. Oh! <laughs> also, thank you waiting the 10 minutes to chat. <laughs> Applebee's is pretty hit or miss. Yeah, the first time I got the steak, I ordered it medium well, which was a mistake, because it came out very well done. So the second time I ordered it medium rare, and it came out a bit better. And... My friend, the second time we went, they got like buffalo chicken wings, and their buffalo sauce is horrendous. It's so bad. I don't mind buffalo if it's mixed, if it's mixed with like a ranch, but their buffalo was way too vinegary. It was disgusting. I I have come to farm drama. Good. We need drama chatters. This is the stream for drama farming. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not. I forgot the title. Hi, Titans! Have you seen the people- or have you seen the videos of people weighing their steaks? No, I haven't, and that is like not mercenary. I mean, I think how it works is right. 
they weigh it before it gets cooked, and when it when things get cooked, they lose some of their volume. Cause like you know the juices come out. Oh, I almost got myself. <laughs> Easy. Oh, I used to work at a subway, right? And this never happened. <laughs> but you know the whole controversy of the footlongs not actually being a foot? And if you look at the fine print, it says they might not actually be 12 inches, and that's fine. That's just how they are. But, like, on our food line, they have a ruler tool. I don't understand why they have the ruler tool. It's like, are you asking for people to whip out the ruler and, like, have us measure it in front of them? Like, you're just asking for drama, then. Granted, there have been a few times where I've gone to Subway and the bread loaves are, like, way too small. Like, because their loaves are about almost, like, two and a half inches wide. But there's been a few times where, like, the bread has only been, like, two inches wide, and that's a scam. That means they haven't let the bread rise enough. Okay. <laughs> Your message got dinged because it had Hooters in it. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I went to Hooters one time. <laughs> I've only gone to Hooters one time, and it was with my friend, and then a friend of a friend, so it was their friend, and we were just doing errands one day, and they were like, hey, there's a Hooters, you want to go? And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> and this was a while ago, <laughs> but Chatter's no Pride Month, Pride Month, um, I'm bisexual, so... It was me and two guys. It was two guy friends. So we were all like whispering to each other. We were like, oh yeah, that girl's cute. <laughs> and shit like that. But I understand the gimmick of booters. And you know what? It works. So why not? We love sex workers, even though they aren't sex workers. But I think people should be able to wear whatever they want to wear. As long as they're comfortable in doing so, you know? Also, I would like to say, all the, like, shitters who tell women to, like, cover up and who are against, like, women's rights, I bet they go to, like, Hooters once every other week. That's, like, their target demographic. You know, the openly conservative but secretly perverted people? <laughs> Wearing nothing comfortably? Oh, um, no, do not get charged with public indecency. I did not say that. They have- they can hire guys at Hooters now? No way. I mean, it's, granted, it's been like four years since I've gone to one. <laughs> Wait, can I do it again? Oh, I didn't! Easy! There we go, easy. Hooters meet up- no, I ain't- no. Oh. Max! Sorry, I just saw Max's message. <laughs> he just DoorDash Hooters for the wings? Are they actually that good? Okay, not gonna lie. The burgers from Wingstop are surprisingly pretty good. You don't even have a Hooters near you? I think I have like two. Which is kind of concerning. To think that they need two in one town? Uh-oh.
They have an undercover boss episode for Hooters? Okay, I need to watch that later. What's Hooters? Um... You've gotta be trolling. <laughs> it's a fine American establishment in which these servers wear very special uniforms. It's like Chuck E. Cheese! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. The manager was making the girls eat beans to leave? That's weird. That's... Beans? I mean, isn't Dave and Buster's, like, technically Chuck E. Cheese for adults? Second! Oh my god. I've been wanting to go to Dave and Buster's, but I found out that one of my, um old colleagues from school works at my local Dave and Buster's. So, I ain't going now. It's so awkward, like, seeing people you know from school in public. It's awkward. This is probably another two star. Damn it, again. Went to Dave and Buster's just to play the Halo game? Mm. We are not dabbing! <laughs> not the dance move or the Drugo's Twitch dab. Wait, that's Dave and Buster. <laughs> I need to practice this one. Yeah, I, I do need to practice this one. <laughs> Dab and Busters? I've. You have to be trolling. Yes, I do believe going to arcades intoxicated or under the influence does seem fun if you're of age. Smile. Oh my god! I would never do such a thing, though. My doctor said I shouldn't smoke. Which I've never tried it either. It's legal in my state. Wait, can I get him? No, he got me first! God damn it. Have you ever tried to vape? No. I'm too much of a goody good. And my lungs are already kind of fucked up. I don't want to ruin them. I just know money all with rope and mess up the fun. Who would it be? It would probably be me. It would probably be me. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> um, my sister, she doesn't have a fear, but she is really scared of people throwing up. So I think a bit I would do if she went is I would pretend to throw up, like do the motion, but then never actually do it, but then I would mess up one time and then actually yak. I think <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be such a good thing. Because we went out to eat a while ago, and it was my sister, my roommate, and then a friend, and 
My friend was sick, so he was like, looking like he was about to throw up. And my sister was like, freaking out. <laughs> and I was trying my best not to like, laugh at her, because it's funny, like, seeing her like, get upset sometimes. Okay, I took way too nails. You went through a hundred bucks? Typical. That's why, like, I think it's so bad how a lot of arcades have transitioned to, like, reloadable, like, game cards instead of tokens. Because, or, like, tickets. Because when you have, like, a something physical in your hand, you're like, okay, I got five tickets, I can play four more games. Versus just swiping a card, it's so... Like, the action of swiping your card is so bad, it's so easy to just mindlessly keep swiping. Where's my pro controller? Um, it's on my dresser. I don't use it anymore. Because, like, the buttons on the Joy-Cons are smaller. So it's a lot, like, it's easier for my fingers to reach. Also, my pro, my pro controller is kind of busted. Like, the left grip handle is falling off. Because my dad fucked up the screws. Oh my god. You're bad at this map? I'm fine at it. I just need to practice it more. I do want those pastel Joy-Cons. That is what I'm asking Santa for this year. What do I put in my nachos? Always sour cream. I usually, if we have avocados, I'll mix avocados with sour cream. Ground turkey if we have it. Cheese, of course. Shredded, freshly shredded Monterey Jack. Olives, sliced, not whole. And when you're making nachos, you don't put toppings on just the top. You have to mix in the toppings with chips. You do chip topping, chip topping, and you keep layering. Because whenever my parents would make nachos, they would make it totally wrong. They would put the skimpiest amount of cheese, way too many olives, and then they only put toppings on the top of the whole pile of chips. So only like five chips would have cheese on it, and the rest would just be plain. Okay, I've only black olives. I think the only time where I could have tried like green olives were at like a buffet years ago, but I didn't. I was too scared. We need new consoles, not new Joy-Cons. We know that, but you know we're such suckers that will buy anything that Nintendo puts out. Oh! Come on! Cheesy Factory is way too overpriced. It's insane. <laughs> Nintendo will not get another cent from me. Are you a hater now? Are you a hater? I think they had a... It was either they had a mango or a pineapple cheesecake. And that was my favorite. They don't have any cheesecake factories in Kansas? Wait, isn't Kansas where Dorothy is from? Nobody laugh at Max Jack joke. Nobody laugh. Nobody laugh. <laughs> See, how come you guys laugh at each other's jokes more than mine? I like to think I'm a little bit funny.
I do think when it comes to jokes, I can be a bit too try-hard sometimes. Like, if I'm in the mood, I'll be, like, ripping and rapping, goofing and gaffing the whole time. But I don't want to be seen as a try-hard. Because, like, you ever see, like, a, a stream or a YouTube video and there's always one guy who is just trying too hard to be overly funny? Honestly, peace in chat? Dude, that would be hilarious. I make jokes to get timed out. I only timed out once jokingly and then I instantly undid it, him. Don't try to be a martyr. There we go. <laughs> if we make jokes at your expense, we'll get timed out. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that is kind of true, though. <laughs> Time where I've done that? Where like somebody like made fun of me and then I timed them out. I I can't recall. Cause it's I don't think you guys ever try to make jokes that are like targeted at me or at each other usually. It's like usually you one person will just say something like kind of skirting the line of like inappropriate and then I I have to terminate it. I don't I don't remember. I think there was one time where oh fuck somebody was like calling me dumb and i was like hey don't do that shit <laughs> i was like this is not an e-rob chat because i think if you let your chat room make jokes at your expense too often then it becomes normalized and then everybody's just like a hater where am i going to your mom's house <laughs> be mean mean to each other or to me like i think a little bit of poking is fine but it's like don't be like oh well, you're dumb or you're fat kick w like that's not a joke you know you know what is kind of mean though running ads because everybody <laughs> Wait, i can't what is this what is this? Okay. <laughs> we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available after the ad. We're gonna keep on playing. What are we gonna do online? If I get first, chat gets a sub. So if you don't wanna miss a single second, subscribe. Yes, you game. <laughs> Kim, why do you keep playing matchmaker all the time? Is that, like, how you feel fulfilled in life? Because I don't think I ever played matchmaker, but I would, like, shit people in my head. He's watched Gooby. <laughs> <laughs> It's only to be funny, as long as other people don't mind it. Dude, I'm still at 7k? No, I want to 
will be pink. Very soft today, pink and a flower umbrella. I think I'm gonna put my hair up, it's bothering me. We're spectating anyway. Do things for the bit, always and forever? I agree. If you have a bit, you gotta commit to it. Would you ever go on a blind date? Oh no. No. Um, cancel me. But I- I think if you're at a point where you're going on blind dates... It's very, like... I think in order for you to do that, you feel like you have no other option. And I- I mean, I've only heard, like, the- the cliché setup of a blind date where, like, other people set you up or you, like... <laughs> you're a loser? See, I didn't say that Mac did. Quote Mac on that. I would retweet that. <laughs> but, um... Speed dating would be fun, but I don't- I don't think I can make a connection with somebody in less than five minutes. Yeah, I agree. I was gonna say- cause that, when, in my head, I always make up- mix up speed dating with blind dates. I get them mixed up. And what happens if I go on a blind date and then they're uggy? Would you hire a matchmaker? <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm here to farm some drama. <gasps> Is that okay? I don't know. Checkmark streamer. Hi, Scootish. Can we get some yos? Hello. Say your worst take and then never type in the chat again. That's how the rules work today. <laughs> Who's the guy with the red eyes? It's Satan, obviously. I need to put my pen down. <clears throat> I thought the Percy Jackson movies were fun. Yes, I only watched the first one. But I watched it when I was like 12. And everything was fun when I was 12. Books were better. about the Magic Trios franchise just until you said that. Those are clear out of my memory just until now. I had so many of those books. I'm in last place. <laughs> Fuck me. Because when I was little, my mom, she would buy so many books from like Goodwill or Value Village. We had basically a home library. Another favorite was Geronimo Stilton, that's another solid series. Okay, I'm so jumpy today. Oh, you know why? I'm loaded up on sugar. My sister wanted crumble, so I woke up early to go and buy some, right? And I had a whole cookie this morning for breakfast. Wait, fourth? Never mind. A series that I never got into was Boxcar Children. I remember reading one and it was too sad. Oh, I got one of the- I had the milkshake one earlier today. Pretty good. Dude, I don't think I can ever be the type of person to have food for breakfast. That is like old people shit. The only people who have fruit for breakfast is like 90 year olds who can't chew or babies who have to have fruit based baby food. Oh, oh my god. Stop. I'm younger than you? So is like literally everybody in this chat. 
your mom made breakfast or pancakes for breakfast? My mom refuses to make breakfast food, so that was probably my father who made you breakfast. <laughs> because my dad, when he was younger, he used to work at a diner, so he's really good at making eggs. But that's like it. I told you the story of how he made pork chops in the air fryer one day. <laughs> what is this? Guys, should I go pro type 1? Th this is the first race of the day, don't worry, don't worry. Ignore the zero. It's first place. I water. <laughs> <There's> zero. <laughs> One day it'll happen. It'll happen. <laughs> One away from last. Don't remind me. Don't. Don't remind me. I know. <laughs> I'm warming up! Let me, let me get back to my cue cards. You know what I think I need genuinely? I want to get like... The prompter. You know how on TV they have the teleprompter? I want one of those. But then the bit is, I just don't read the teleprompter. You know what I genuinely need? What? A life? <gasps> get a projector? That actually could work. I've been wanting to get a projector. Like, in the drawing videos, people have like a mini projector. That way they don't have to trace their... Or like, print their images on their drawings. I think the projectors would be really helpful for the paintings. But the stencils are pretty good. <clears throat> I don't think I'd ever get a projector to like watch movies on. Because when I saw the new Spider-Verse, I could see the texture of like the wall behind the projector or the curtain or whatever. And it took me out of it. And like the walls that are in our unit right now, they're textured. Like it has like the bumpies. So I, I think it would bother me. God, I looked at chat for one second. I was doing so good. Use a flat wall? No, all the walls in our unit are textured. They're expensive. How many subs does it cost? How many subs do I have to farm during the subathon to get a projector? <laughs> um, what should I buy first? My fucking college diploma or a projector? Oh wait, um, Chatters, if you watched the art stream yesterday, then you know the lore. But, my fast one got denied. Smile. But! But! They said they could waive some of my retake fees so I can get up to like 1500 removed from my outstanding balance. So that means I'll, it'll just take a bit less time to pay back the diploma. Wait, third place! Holy shit! Hold, hold, hold! <laughs> Minus one. Dude, I should have used those mushrooms better. Eight thousand dollars? Dude, that's more than my diploma. That's like, holy shit! How many subs would that be? <laughs> Wait, do the math. Did somebody? Oh, I thought somebody DC. Let's see, eight thousand dollars. Peace, you're rich. It's okay. Just because I have two laptops and two phones. Doesn't mean I'm rich. I previously had money. I was talking about this with my friend the other day, like I was feeling sad. Wait, let me do the math real quick. 8,000 divided my sub split, which is 
I can't say. Dude, that's 3,333 subs. Guys, we gotta go crazy in August. Hi, Lemon. You're late. You're an hour late. Come on. <clears throat> oh, I was talking about my friend the other day. Because y'all know, back when I worked, I worked two jobs. So I worked like 80-hour weeks. And I saved up like $13,000, right? And it's kind of sad to think to that I worked so fucking hard for that year and a half that I have like nothing now. It, I think that just goes to show that no matter how much you save... You'd never truly know what's gonna happen in life. You never know if there's gonna be like an accident or if you're gonna be like disabled or some type of other life event, like losing your job. So not that you shouldn't save, but I think you should always have a plan in place and also surround yourself with good people. I don't know. Or you could get a sub to piece in 17. Yeah, for only five dollars. <laughs> oh, I love this track. I might actually have a chance because everybody gets thrown off by the mirror mode. Anyway, I think another point is, like, don't feel like you need to work yourself to the bone to get by. Like, know your worth. Not saying that you should work the minimum. Y'all spend your money on food and you're saving it for more VR headsets? I mean, you know, food gives us temporary happiness, which I think is very important. Or maybe it's because I grew up in a capitalist country, I don't know. Capitalism? More like capitalism, am I right? Fuck me! Oh my god. In game. <laughs> I can't! Maybe Yoshi's just bad luck. Or maybe every character I play is bad luck. Like, maybe I'm actually bad. You know, everybody watches my clips and says, I watch for the commentary, not the gameplay. Do you agree? Type 1. VR equals socialism? Yeah, you're a commie. Wait? I got fifth. Thank you, Lemon. <laughs> I always get... I chuckle to myself whenever I, I imagine... Oh wait, I'm good at all these tracks, wait! If I get Cheap Cheap Beach, I literally will win. I think it's funny. Because I don't brand myself as a gamer. I never have. And I just think it's hilarious that somebody like browsing Twitch or randomly popping on a clip and it's me just running into every single wall imaginable. <laughs> oh my god. Ew, imagine taking summer classes. Somebody got automated. Who said a bad word? Titans. Titans said you're welcome for the shill, and I got tagged for bullying. What? 
Dude, Automod has gone too far. Oh, wait, okay, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. Everybody pray that I'll win. Or pray for my downfall, both work. Report. Did I just ban Automod from my chat? No, Automod is pretty good. It's not often that things slip through. <laughs> and I do think it's better for them to flag certain messages or words. Just preemptively. I think it's especially good for people like me who don't have any mods. Behave. Behave, still. You're actually throwing. Because there's a few times where I'll play Mario Kart, and I usually am able to, like, glance down and quickly look to see if anybody said it's something sus, right? But there's been a few times where I'm like, I'll miss a message, and I'll be like, oh, that one's kind of weird. I should have handled that one. Okay, I'm actually gonna focus now. I remember when you told us you had mods watching. <laughs> yeah, why would I tell the truth? Blue shell in sixth? Oh, that's bad. Wait, 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 hold, hold. This might be it. I mean, technically, I do have mods watching on stream labs, stream elements, those count. No prediction? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Thank you. I mean, first place is pretty far ahead of me right now. So, only if there's another blue shell. Oh, that was sick. Wait, hold. 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 No! Motherfucker, please! Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys. No way. Okay. Chatters. I have five dollars. First non-sub to type in chat gets a sub. First non-sub today. Damn! I did not think I was gonna win! Oh, look at Yoshi. He's so happy. Me? You already- you got a gifted sub last time. In 10 days? No. You guys have subs. Any non-subs in chat? I did not- I was- holy. Maybe I should stream on two hours of sleep every night or every day. Dude, I can't talk. No, I got a lot of sleep last night. I knocked out at like nine. But I've been waking up at fucking five. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, look at me with my crown. Who said they watched me for the commentary and not the gameplay? Who's a gameplay frog now? Another prediction since I totally forgot. Will I get first again for the gamblers? Go gamba, everybody. Do you think I'll get first again? Not too bad. Does Lemon have a sub? Yeah. Lemon actually has a sunflower badge now. Guys, Lemon is a sub! <laughs> I think Matt gifted them last week. Oh, 
I was going to say, man, like I ran right into the sand and then I did the exact same thing. Good one. Wait, I was gonna say this might be the biggest fall from Grace ever, but I almost had a third right there. Might have a chance. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, that could have been executed a lot better. It's not the odds of that happening. Triple mushroom at the end. That was a throw. But this trunk is always a throw. I never win on this one. Also, I'm looking at the prediction. And nobody believes I'll get first again. That's kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. Drama is the only thing that grows at any location, in any weather condition. I think mold can also grow anywhere, but yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hi, Aslane, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? If I get first on this track, it'll be a miracle. Oh, it's 150. I could have had a chance if it was 200. Why do some... Why do so many people mention drama when coming into stream? Read the title! I know you're an offline chat, but read the title! <laughs> I agree that it would be a miracle if we got first. If I get first, I am screenshotting that chat message and putting you on blast on Twitter, Asley. I'll do it. Okay, wait, I'm actually crushing? Wait? Oh my god, third? Why, this feels slower than usual. Like, this genuinely feels like a 150cc race. Because, in my opinion, whenever I play online, 150 feels like, like 175, but this feels like 150 speed. No, oh my god! Okay, third, not bad, not bad. Nice pre-promotion, I'll take it. I have no clout on Twitter. I have no clout. Bye, potato. Oh, we lived! Oh, wait! Aslan gets a sub! I said first non-sub to chat. After this race, remind me, chatters, remind me. Because I got first earlier, so I said first non-sub the chat gets a sub. 
Remind me. I should have waited. I should have waited. That was so DM. Wait, actually? Oh. Fourth isn't bad for that track. I'll take it. Okay, Aslan gets a sub. almost forgot fourth is not bad but it's not first i know but i was going into it expecting like an eighth i think it's because like everybody else was throwing yes it's true i have two phones and two laptops Processing. <laughs> there you go, Aslan. Enjoy the gifted sub. I better see you use my emotes in chat. Now we know where that sub money is going. No, I bought everything before I was a brokey. Back when I had 13 13k in my savings. Before I was a brokey. Yeah, can we get some Wee Sins in chat? Guys, the spot this stream is sponsored by <laughs> Eason Art on Twitch. Go follow and seriously check out my website, please. Can we get to a million clicks today? <clears throat> also, I'm gonna do another painting drop probably very end of June. Why would you drop your painting? Um... I'm just trying to be the new Banksy, you know? Performance art is where it's at. Stay away! I do want to think... Okay, I do want to think. I do think when it comes to the arts, a lot more, I guess, the consumer or the clientele want to actually know who you are. That's why I think Instagram really changed the dynamic. Because, like, people are able to post, like, how-to videos, speed paintings, and, like, studio tours. So they kind of expect any creative person to share a little bit about themselves. Because I think anybody can draw if you really try. And most anybody can have the same skill set. But if people don't know who you are, then I think it's gonna drastically hurt your impact and your reach. Hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? <laughs> okay, I don't like that joke. And that's a block term. <laughs> Go back to the riding room, Aslan. I was looking at which games were available on the Nintendo shop. 
And usually whenever a game is on sale, I'll add it to my wish list. And there's like three games that are on sale. So maybe I'll buy some more. Whatever my payout goes through. Because like I still need to find a game that I want to play for myself. I definitely think Terraria is a big contender. Or Slime Rancher? One of my wishlist games was a Spongebob cooking sim. Like, from Nickelodeon. I forgot what it's called. But I, I think I'll save that for a stream. But the Spongebob game was like- Oh wait, this is my track! Hold! Hold. I will win. If I don't get first, I end stream. stream i'll see you next time yeah should i just preemptively put it on my see you later screen <laughs> uh, th this is genuinely one of my better tracks there's been a few times where i've gotten online and this track has been on 200 cc and i've gotten top three i have no clue why this is one of my better ones i think it could be because see that part at the end with the grass patch and then the wooden paneling for the track? There seems to be a lot of contrast in this level. Or here, not really. It's too many blues. I think I got my first spider bite. I'll make sure you clean it properly. <laughs> The only the only bug bites I've gotten were mosquito bites. Thankfully, I haven't gotten any spiders. But my aunt got a spider bite. It got infected and it didn't end well. You have to be on a lot of antibiotics. But if it does look inflamed, definitely go to urgent care. Bite the spider back. No, but then he he won't turn into Spider-Man. What if he's in the 2000th timeline? I always do wonder. You know how the Princess and the Frog story, if you kiss the frog, you get a prince? I wonder if any kids were like actively trying to find spiders to bite them. It's over. <laughs> Ew, what happened? What happened? What even happened? Okay, Animal Crossing is another one of my top three. Philpium. Also, everybody, we are... Another 30 minutes on the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our daily goal? We already got one new follow today. You know the cliche question of, ooh, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? I never know how to answer it because I'm always so practical to where it's so hard for me to imagine having powers. Like, that is not, like, a, a reality I can picture. Weird. Does it help if I unfollow and refollow? No. Because then you lose your ability to chat for 10 minutes. I want x-ray vision. <laughs> Typical Aslan answer. Especially after the joke you just made earlier. S-M-H. <laughs>
Oh my god, first place hold? Everybody clip, clip. It's real. Feeling a bit mean. <laughs> Okay, if I get first again, I'm not gifting another sub. That is not in the budget. Meggy Sports only has um three dollars from the investors. Why you do okay, that was mean. I mean if you think about it, technically. All the people who subscribe or donate, they're technically investors, right? I mean, I do think the Peace and 17 stocks are on a downward trend, let's be honest. Oh, I can't throw the boomerang behind. I thought I could. best path right here. <laughs> I was feeling a bit evil. If I were to make another sub emote, what would you guys want? Because I've been working on the thumbnails for the YouTube clip videos, right? So I have to like actually make somewhat intentful thumbnails. And I was like thinking of what like react faces I could make. Something I can be mean with. I mean, you already have PSI 2 L. That's kind of mean. PSI 2 Punch is kind of like in the center. Why don't you want an emote that can be nice? Why use nice emotes when you can use mean emotes? If my last ever Twitch message in a chat was mean, then I would be remembered as a mean person, right? Not saying that every single message you leave should be wholesome. I don't know, I have this really like itching underlying you could say it self-doubt to where i simultaneously care nothing about what people think and then also a lot about what other people think i, I think it comes down to i don't care what people think about my image like in terms of aesthetics or look like if i look ugly i don't care you know i'm very confident in how i look fuck <laughs> People call me fat, I don't care, I know. It's like, I know. But like, if somebody, if I assume somebody thinks I'm mean or like too blunt, then that bothers me so much more. I think it's because me as a person, I value character over everything. Because I remember there was one time, it was my sister and my roommate and we were heading home from errands. And me and my sister, we didn't get into, like, a fight. But we got into, like, a little verbal skirmish, you could say, before, like, we got in the car. And on the way home, 
Like, this was like a mile away from home. We almost got into an accident. And I was like freaking out in the car because all they could, like, we were fine. It was fine. It, it was a very close call. My roommate, like, clutched. He skirted out of the way. Honestly, big dub on his part. But all I could think about in the moment, like, in the mile ride home back home, and the mile ride back home, was like, imagine, like, one of us didn't make it. And, like, ending, or them knowing it ended our relationship on a negative note like that, that bothered me for, like, a week after it happened. Go, don't go to sleep angry. I kind of agree with that, but then I kind of don't. I'll go into that in a second. But that's why, like, I try my best not to be, like, too mean. Or if any time where I do feel like I crossed a line with somebody, like, I'll try to reach out. Or I'll try to be transparent. Because it's also, like, kind of selfish because I don't want to be seen as a bad person. But then I also don't, I don't want to, like, wrong anybody. It's weird. I have like points I want to say about going to sleep angry and I'm trying to think of how to like say it. Rainbow Road. Just if they would have given me if I would have gotten Wild Woods, I would have won. I'm kind of neutral on the stance of don't go to sleep angry. I think it kind of reinforces the idea that you need to communicate any issues that are going on or underlying feelings that you have. Because if you don't tackle something head on and communicate properly, it will lead to resentment. But I don't feel like you should force your partner or your friend to talk about something that they genuinely aren't ready to talk about. Like, let's say there was a traumatic event, or you said something that hurt their feelings. You can't expect them to share how they feel right away. You have to make sure that they feel safe first. I think that's the most important part. Like, it's not like you're gonna meet somebody new and be able to communicate properly and effectively right away. Because everybody has their own communication styles, right? Like, I think once you hit, like, the three to four month mark in a relationship, I think that's when you're able to, like, hopefully you've learned enough about them to be able to communicate a bit better. And without, like, I guess, pushing their buttons intentionally. Because communicating doesn't mean fighting. It means genuinely sitting and listening to what they have to say and knowing how to respond in a way that makes them feel validated. I think validation is very important because you can sit and listen but not truly understand what they're talking about. So if you got into like an argument or something and they aren't ready to talk about it, I think let them sit until they're ready to come to you. And if they tell you to sleep on the couch, just fucking do it. Having an argument at 1am and then being like, no, you can't sleep until you're happy. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's exactly it. I'm trying to think of like the time in which I chose to not tackle something right away. Because I don't want to overshare. And it's also like not my drama. Okay, what I will say, because this was when I was in a relationship, fuck, four years ago. Guys, I've been single too long. Four years ago. And, like, something had happened in their family, and they didn't want to talk about it. But you can tell when something is bothering them, right? But, so there was, like, a week period where, they're, like, they are very sad, and they didn't chat much. But I knew that if I would have pressed them and made them share, it would have only made it worse. And I do feel like if you force somebody to share or be 
overly transparent when they don't want to, then you're going to make them feel unsafe to an extent. <laughs> I do remember one time my ex telling me to sleep on the couch and I replied, sleep on the couch yourself. And then I was single. Damn, R.I.P. Aslan. I mean, I've never lived with a partner, so I've never had that argument. I've always thought about it, but like, if I ever had a relationship, which will never happen, I've always liked the idea of having separate bedrooms, if you can afford to like, get a bigger place. Because I think it's important to have separate identities from whoever you're dating. I think it is kind of different if you're like married and have kids, because then your kids would be kind of weirded out if you slept in separate beds, I guess. But I feel like when you share a bedroom too early on, you don't have like a space just for you, typically. Like if there's a time where you're feeling kind of moody or kind of sad, you don't necessarily want somebody in the room with you. And also, sharing closet space does not sound fun. I don't have a lot of clothes, but I like having my own face. She made you choose between games and her? Dude, okay, also red flag. If your partner is giving you ultimatums, then they're toxic. I think whenever somebody proposes an ultimatum, that means they aren't willing to communicate and try to help you not solve the problem, but compromise. Because anytime somebody uses an ultimatum, then they are taking control. Oh my god, second place! Never mind. Third! Easy. One of the best- why are we talking so much about relationships? Ew. But I think one of the best things I learned from therapy was learning how to communicate what you're thinking and feeling. Um, in the instance of where, like, if somebody says something that hurts your feelings, you have to use the format of, when you did or said this, I felt blank because blank. Because when you frame or express yourself in that format, then it kind of explicitly tells the other person how you're feeling in a way to where it's easier for them to empathize. Because you have to associate your feeling with the action. Ooh, mirror mode. Easy. Catch up, don't worry, don't worry. products I see in the store now is the pre-bottled versions of ketchup mayo. I think it's so silly. Why would you need a whole bottle of ketchup mayo mixture? I think the only combo sauces that make sense is when they have jars of peanut butter and jelly combined. That one makes sense. 
But the ketchup mayo, it's... Do you really need a 16-ounce bottle of that shit? Oh my god! Because, <laughs> like, just in general, I feel like... Okay, granted, I don't make a lot of, like, American dishes. So it's not like I'm having hamburgers and hot dogs every day. But just in general, I don't use condiments often. Like, I usually use a condiment if it's part of a recipe, like ketchup usually or mayo. So, like, I would never use the ketchup mayo. Hi, Chip. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Do you mean fry sauce? Yeah, but it's like labeled as like ketchup mayo in the shop. Oh my god, fifth place? Four, three, hold, third. Also, thank you for the lurk chip. We love lurkers. No, it's the wrong way. Dude, the mirror mode definitely tripped me up. Second! Let's go! <laughs> I have time for like three more races. Second still isn't first? You do this bit every time you watch me play Mario Kart as Lane. And you know it's never gonna bother me. If I get Shy Guy Falls, I win. I win. Guarantee win. Oh my god, is that Rick and Morty? Okay, okay. Controversial. I'm drama farming now. I'm finally gonna drama farm two hours in. I think the statement of separating the art from the artist is valid. But if somebody is doing crimes, then that is unforgivable. I'll say it. It's different if they're like an asshole. Because yeah, normal people are assholes. But if you're doing crimes or assault, no, I will not support you. Okay, it's over. It's <laughs> over. Nintendo heard my take. Yeah, crimes are bad, everybody. You heard it here first. That is my that is my take of the day. Crimes are good? No, they're not! Hi, Nyx. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? The only crimes that are good is if you're stealing food. That's fine, because then you're just like Aladdin. Dude, they rammed me. Crime if you get caught. Okay, I agree with that. I agree with that. I do think it's near impossible to commit crimes and not get caught nowadays, though. You know, we live in a surveillance state here in the States. Everybody has a ring camera. Also, if you have a cell phone, they can literally track you anywhere you go if they have a warrant. So I think it's so much harder to do crimes now. Not that I would know. I have never, never done a crime. But I would assume it's very difficult to do crime. In America, yes. In Europe, not so much. Is that why you live there, man? Fuck. I'm at 11! Twitch commits crimes every day with a 50-50 subsplit? I didn't say it, Twitch staff. I'm just reading the chat message that I totally don't agree with. Wink. <laughs> Dude, I'm in dead last. Yeah, 
We have time for one more race. And then we're gonna do Cozy Grove. Because I'm obviously really bad at racing. Besides the one t time I got first. I'm in debt who's barely losing. Nix, you didn't hear the drama. I owe 7,000 on my college tuition. But I can still get my transcript, so they, they just won't mail me my fancy little diploma when I graduate. Which, I think the diploma is BS anyway. I, where is my high school diploma? I don't have it framed or anything. If we get Wario's gold mine, I will win. Diplomas are just a piece of paper stating that once upon a time you knew things. Yeah, I agree. It's only really good if you're like actively looking for jobs in your field, I, I think. Nyx, all you gotta do is win the lottery or become a streamer. Both work. <laughs> I would know. <laughs> Oh wait, Diki Jungle! Wait, actually, I am correct in Diki Jungle. I am correct. Everybody, get your binoculars on. I'm gonna win. Okay, I'm gonna try hard. No talking. I'm not gonna talk. You guys can talk, but I won't talk. I'm gonna win. the binoculars emo. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Fourth place. No, okay, I'm gonna shut up now. I got two people with that boomerang, that was sick. So far, it doesn't look like first place shot. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'm cracking under the pressure. Do you know who else is gonna take an L? The non-subs. Because guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. It is Pride Month, so show your pride by sub by fuck! I can't do it! By subbing with Prime! I'll do one more race for the fans. For the fans, I'll do one more. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe! I got so- I had it. I had it. You can say I'm huffing copium, but like... I simultaneously get dialed in. 
But if one little thing distracts me, it just takes me out of it. You say too pride. If I get top three in this one, it'll be a miracle. Also, the username Mr. Big Tussie is what's distracting me. drive IRL. Where are you going to your mom's house? No, I'm going to Hogwarts. I just don't know which part of the wall to run into. My Joy Cons could be broken. I'm not even joking. I've dropped my Switch in handheld mode like three times. N no, it's technically my sister's Switch, it's her Switch. I'll do one more race if the tracks that are able to be Josephine are good. If they're bad, we'll do Cozy Girl. Gimme DK Jungle. Oh, they're all bad. They're all bad. They're I'm leaving. They're all bad. The only one I might have a chance on is Mute City. I'm decent at Mute City. Okay, everybody. Let's go ahead and switch gears to Cozy Grove. Still surprised I got a first today. Oh, before we switch, let's end the prediction. Will I get first again? No. Sorry, believers. Even though we only had one of you. Which is kind of shameful if you ask me. Oh, I didn't change the... What will be a good title? Let's see. I'm haunted!
Okay, new title. Now, last week, we finished off with Cozy Grove. We were waiting on the shop to be upgraded. Your campfire flamey can burn many items, converting them... Oh. Some resources, like some fruit-bearing trees, can only be harvested when they are colored. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna add that to the title. Dude, Lemon is the best chatter, I swear to god. <laughs> okay. It's added. Thank you, Lemon. Chain lamps together in order to spread color to new areas of the world. Resources will grow over time. If you can't find more fish, ore, etc., come back another time. I rise. I should just put hashtag possessed. It has haunted twice in the tunnel. Now we're good. The bit is complete. would stop running away from me. Oh, he has a ship now. This wasn't here last time. Ow. My head. No speeches, no questions. Just make me this. Yeah, I need a tea egg. Spirit imp and poison mushroom. Hmm, peace I too, hmm. <laughs> Jeremy Gruffle. Hey, maker buddy. I've been stewing on what I did in life to end up as a ghost. But I can't remember doing anything that would explain it. And maybe not remembering is part of my problem. Tell me. Have you ever used a dowsing rod? A dowsing rod? Those are real? Real as rain, as they say. Do they say that? A dowsing rod locates lost memories, pulls them right out of the ground. I can make one for you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Here's a list of materials we'll need. I gathered them myself, but you know... Ghost hands. I need to burn a root, burn fish, and- Damn, there's so much shit! Oh my god. Oh, what is this guy? A genial face-eater bug? Uh oh There doesn't look to be any new areas yet. <laughs> Patrice Furbach. Oh, is Patrice a girl? I thought it was a guy. I thought it said Patrick. <laughs> okay. Greetings, fellow male aficionado. I got a missed package slip from the psychic plane this morning. Sounds ominous. It's true. I get some weird ones. Not sure where those flame spewing centipedes come from, or why they show up every Tuesday. So anyway, if you see a USD out there addressed to yours truly, Patrice Furback, send it my way. Hmm. Weep. Weep. 
Mr. Kit, take a look at all this shiny new stuff. Salt is 2k? Damn. Ooh, he only had one new thing. He had salt. And really. You took a whole day to expand only to sell salt. Alright, that's Sunray right here. I've been flipping through this old Spirit Scout handbook. Of course, flipping gets a bit repetitive when there's only a few pages. I think I'm gonna make a project out of repairing this old handbook. If you see any loose pages out there, please bring them by. Oh! I have them in my inventory. Yeah, there we go. Three pages! Impressive! I can't wait to stitch these into the binding. Oh! A partial list of all natural counter hexes and a guide to minor gods. Mr. Kit gets a great write-up. And here's a page about the mission of the spirit scouts. A scout must connect to the world beyond and tend to cursed and unwanted places. Cursed and unwanted places. Hmm. Is that what my camp has become? I remember the last scout who recited that mission statement. Her sash was covered in basket weaving and marshmallow toasting merit badges. She earned badges for helping ghosts too, but in the end, she gave those badges back. Hmm. Lore update finally? My tool broke. I've never had that happen yet. Uh oh. You can repair broken tools with Maker Bear. Okay, so whenever a tool breaks, I get essence. I've got a broken tool! two branches. I don't have any branches. Do I really not have any branches? I just picked them up. Yeah, I have 15. What? Oh, I was... <laughs> I was pressing X instead of Y. Sometimes I still have to look at my controller to remember which button is which. I'm a fake gamer. Alison Fisher. That's everything. Now let's mix it together while humming my favorite song. 
<laughs> I don't know what song it is. Done. Wow, it smells like cinnamon, fresh cut grass, and sun on a mountaintop. I think I've stumbled upon something great. Now that all my not that all my creations aren't genius, of course they are. <laughs> but I think there's something magical about this one. I might make a habit of feeding the animals. You should try it too. Just come to me and say you want to bake something. Ooh, finally, food crafting. Okay, there was something I had to make for a mission. Vegetables, a tea egg. Oh, I can't. It's probably a recipe that I gotta find. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. ghost I gotta talk to. Right here. Francesca. Hello, little fauna. I wonder how this island must look to your youthful eyes. Most of us have been dead longer than you've been alive. But the history of this island goes far deeper. Long before it was a campground, some say it was the capital of a lost empire. Atlantis? That civilization is long gone, but its relics remain. They're not easy to find, though. You need a dowsing rod. If you help him out, I bet Jeffrey Guffro can make you one. Then I can tell you how to use it. Are you ready on a- Are you ready for a listen on how to use a dowsing rod? Um, no, because I don't have one. Do it yourself. Come back to me if you need a dowsing rod lesson. I'd be grateful if you use the dowsing rod to find me a relic. Okay, so... Dowsing rod was... Ten fish... Three iron ore, and then root. I don't know if I have any roots. I only have two iron ore. Hmm. Oh, here's the recipe for a tea egg. Let's try to make that now, then. After I pick up the passage package. It's so funny how just everything that you burn is on the stick. <laughs> it's almost like a SpongeBob episode. Okay, I 
need salt, happy bird essence, which I think I have already because I got some for my bird a while ago. Oh yeah, I do. Is it happy though? So to make one happy bird essence, you need 25 regular bird essences. That's crazy. Because the only way to get essence from a bird is if you feed it the right food every day, but I don't have the capacity to make the food that it likes. I think there was some in the shop? No, there is not. Maybe I should just buy more birds? I think that's what I'll do. Wait, what did I th I said quartz, I think. Okay, so if I just buy more birds, then I'll get more essence quicker? Probably. Okay, quartz, quartz. All the birds that he has and open a sanctuary. So I can't pet it yet. I just realized my duckling is gone. My little friend? They're not here. Uh oh. They were here last week? What did you guys name him? Does anybody remember? We only had him for like an hour. <laughs> I don't think you guys could have gotten too attached to him, right?
Okay, somebody go back in last week's VOD and figure out what we need. I don't know if coconut was it. It could be. Wait, I can look at logs. What was a week ago? I'm gonna look back at the logs. Going back in the VOD is too hard. A week from the 13th is... The 6th, right? 6th. Okay, I can't find it. I was looking back in your logs, Lemon, and there's way too much emote spam for me to read anything. Can somebody go back in the VOD? I can't find my little duck anywhere, though. Maybe it's because I didn't feed him for a week? I mean, we only play this once a week on stream, so... He probably, like, actually died! <laughs> In game, though, in game, of course. Patrice. Hey, my package! What could it be? Let me give it a little shake. I know, I know. Official postal protocol frowns on package shaking, but those are civilian rules. I am a professional. Ah, I know what it is. Brand new black socks! Fantastic! Those will go perfectly with my shorts. You thought it was going to be something awful, didn't you? Yeah. It can't be all blood and terror and nitrates, postal helper. Sometimes it's just socks. Cheerio scout about town. No word from the main, no word from the main chapter yet. But I found an old story about Cozy Grove at the library. There used to be a town there, but it died out decades ago. So there must be dozens of ghosts on the island. If you help them all, you'll shoot straight past second degree and graduate into the inner circle of the spirit scouts. Very few people ever accomplish that. I'm sure you'll look back on this as a huge opportunity and honor someday, if you survive. Which I'm sure you will. 100% sure, yep, yep. From Scoutmaster Blake. I'm gonna die. Hi, Kim. Welcome back. I found the log where I asked if we can name the duck, but you didn't say it? Oh no. R.I.P. I mean, he's gone anyway, and it's best not to name them. Plus one. Also, everybody, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if we're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our daily goal? 
Um, am I liking this more than Animal Crossing? Um, uh, I don't know yet. I think the most thing I'm looking forward to in playing this game is like seeing what happens. Because I very much like the story stuff. This one is definitely like still really chill to play. So I think it's as calming as Animal Crossing. But with this game, it does feel like I'm like working towards something. Like, I know if I played every day, then I'd progress faster. I do wish I could, like, move all the trees. Now I can make, like, a proper orchard or something. Which I think I can, but some shrubbery I can't move. My dear spirit scout of the very incarnation of persistence, I salute you. For days now, I've felt the pull of eleven still hidden lost souls. But I couldn't locate any of them until now. Oh yes, my light shines on long lost houses a town once thrived here. It shriveled away, as small towns sometimes do. And when that happened, a part of her died too. She steps forward now, welcoming. Find her, and she will lead you onward. More friends? I'm now rank 7. Hmm. Get some fish in it, not any ten fish. So I think I'll fish, donate, and then go from there. Because there's nothing else that I can find for now. I don't think. First try.
I've been itching to play Amori again. Just so I can experience more of the story. Like, I want to try the Ki Ikimori route. Where you just never wake up. But I, I would play it in my own free time. Because I've been getting recommended so many lore videos on YouTube, and I don't watch them. But it just seems like there's so much more to it. Even though I got, like, the true best ending. It's like there's more that I could have experienced, I guess. that I choose to replay games. It's not that I feel like it's a waste of time. It's more so... I usually tend to agree with the ending that I got. But I'll still watch, like, the alternate endings. Because it's kind of like fate, in my opinion. If it happens this way the first time, then that's how it's supposed to be. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> You're not that strong. Bullshit. I still need to watch the cozy game direct or showcase. I don't know. There's been so many like game announcements or like game showcases that it's like too much to consume in my opinion. friend
plus a hundred. Okay, let's go burn some fish. Then I'll come back. That's six. Eight. Okay, and then I need to donate the rest, I think. Oh, one fish makes more than one sometimes. So I'm good. Close snail. <laughs> Just like our house was almost foreclosed on. I feel like foreclosures make sense, like on paper. But then, like, having to evict someone seems so unhumane, in my opinion. I don't know. It's. Dapper fellow. Valentina Ozo Fisher. Especially if they don't have a place to go. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like... I feel like everybody should get one free pass. Like, if you get the eviction notice, you get one free pass to pass go, you know? Or everybody should just get free housing. I don't know, both work. Greetings, neighbor. As the mayor, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Cozy Grove. Can you feel that extra warmth in the air? Our town is so inviting the sun spends a few more minutes here each day. Our secret? It's simple. We pay attention to the details. Now, I've heard you taking up temporary residence on our fine island. Did I hear you right? You heard right. Perfect. Perfect. But here's the thing. You don't become an impeccably charming village by letting an, any old scout pitch a tent on your front lawn. Don't get me wrong, you have been helpful to our citizens and we'd love to have you as a resident. But without any paperwork, that won't do. He's anti-immigration! I've got the proper forms right here in my... purse. Wait, where is it gone? What a pity. If we can't track down these forms, I can't establish your residency. If I can't establish residency, I can't give you a welcome packet. But without a welcome packet, we won't be getting the complete Cozy Grove experience. And that just won't do. It won't do at all. He's gonna evict us, everybody. He's, he's gonna deport us. Okay, so it's behind something on the beach. Inventory 
is full again. He can't evict me. Fifty-three shells? Pause. That is insane. There's way too many items in this game. turn on my paperwork so I don't get deported. Even though I've done so much work here, and I've lived here for almost a month, and he's still threatening to kick me out. Oh, thank you. Those are exactly the forms I was looking for. Look, I don't want anyone to know that those forms were just laying around in the dirt. Those were... Top secret documents. <laughs> if you like, if you would refrain from mentioning it, mentioning it in any reviews, I'd appreciate it. To show you I'm serious, I'm giving my personal number. Give me a call, day or night. My assistant Bruce will answer, and you'll make sure your question is routed through the appropriate committee. I'll also have him mail you your welcome gift, handcrafted by a local artisan. Check in with Postal Bear tomorrow. In the meantime, welcome home. Can you blackmail him? I guess I technically could. But the worst that would probably happen is that people might think he's just not as cool. Or they'd be like, oh, typical, he was mishandling federal documents. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so I think that is most of the missions, because the other missions require time. These birds aren't ready yet. Then I can run for mayor? I guess I could. Okay, I'm gonna organize my things. I put birdhouses here, warts here, and then fruit here. Oh, I can't pick it up. Oh, no. I can't pick up the birdhouses. Oh, no. Oh, my backpack is full. Okay, I thought... I, I thought my game glitched. Yeah, everything is A-OK. -okay. things here. That way I can see the color. Raw materials here. He just needs to give me a bigger storage. In my normal storage, I only have 12 slots, which is impossible to work with, honestly. Then I think shells I can use for crafting later, so I'm gonna hold on to those as well. Feed cooked food. Maybe if I just give it anything that's cooked? Peace I too, hmm. Oh, that's roasted mushrooms! Okay, wait. I thought that was like squid or something. Oh, I just had it. Yeah, I don't want to feed my bird poison. There we 
go. Finally, it's been two weeks since he he's eaten. There we go. Finally. done everything that I can because for the other missions wait let me chop this real quick oh this is a new area this wasn't here before new terrain okay because I need a dowsing rod but to make the dowsing rod I need roots which I haven't found any roots yet and then to make the tea egg I need 25 bird essence so that's gonna take a bit yeah, so I can't do any more missions. But I want to explore here real quick. Where's the dock now? Hmm. Oh, it's still here. It's a radish. Okay, so I'm gonna review the missions one more time. So since it's gonna take a bit to get the bird essence, I think what I'll do is between this and next week, I'll play offline. I won't do the main missions, I'll just harvest resources and then feed my bird. So that way, hopefully by next Tuesday, we'll have enough essence to make the tea egg. Okay, so we're gonna pause here, save, and call it a day for Cozy Group. We've progressed a little bit. We have a new, we have the mayor unlocked. So now we can usurp him. <laughs> you know who else will get some us usurping done? The non subs, because everybody, we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Show your pride by subbing with Prime, everybody. <laughs> um, stream isn't over yet, don't worry. After the ad, we're gonna do calligraphy because we did get a resub. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, let's get some music on for you guys. Dude, my foot has been asleep the whole stream. Like, I'll- it falls asleep, I readjust, and then it falls back asleep. Wait, did Trump announce his VP? Oh no. <laughs> The music is so loud. Okay, while I'm getting this set up, everybody should go check out my YouTube Clips channel. It's youtube.com slash at peace in 17 clips. I'm uploading the normal vertical videos and YouTube exclusive clip videos in the upcoming weeks. So go subscribe. Real fans follow the YouTube. And if you don't, you're a fake fan.
Oops. I dropped something. Also, I don't farm engagement unless... If you guys watch those um, landscape videos, if you could leave a comment on those videos being like, wow, or something, it'd be great. Because I need those videos to do well. Thank you for redeeming, Kim. Oh. Can I comment fake fin? <laughs> Landscape? Oh, because like, you know on YouTube they have shorts, so it's vertical? But like the normal YouTube video is like 1080p, so like landscape. I just call it landscape. I gotta find another blue pen. I found a new pen. He's got a side business too for gardens. I mean, my my family's really into gardening, so honestly, it would make sense if I got into landscaping. But it's too laborious, and I'm disabled. <laughs> I would love to be to learn like interior or exterior design. Peace and underscore gardens win. Does somebody make the alt account. That way I have to buy the royalties whenever it does become an official business. That could be a strat. <laughs> Done. <laughs> oh, this blue is really dark. This is the only blues I have left, though, in my kit. The other ones are too dark. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I took the bus because I had to do errands this morning. And whenever a bus driver approaches the stop, whenever it gets, like, 200 feet away, I'll wave. Just to make sure they see me. Because some of the bus stops have, like, reflective tape on it some don't sometimes there's been a few times where like the driver will not see you if you're sitting on the bench so i always like stand up and wave and it was so funny because the driver he was enthusiastically waving back at me <laughs> and he kept on waving for like the whole time as he was driving up and i got on the bus chuckling because I, I wear my mask but you can tell that i'm smiling and i was like i didn't expect you to wave back <laughs> It was hilarious. And like... Um... Yeah, the, this driver in particular is very friendly. And you know what? He's bald. He looks like a very young 30-something-year-old bald. And I, I think... Most bald people I've met, like... Middle-aged men who are like fully like shaven bald... They're always so nice. And I think it could be... Because I think if you voluntarily choose to, like, shave your head when you're already balding, I think that takes a lot of confidence, right? And to me, confident people are usually really nice or really rude. Someone should gift him a sub. Yeah, where's the bus driver in chat? My next alt is Peace and Bus Driver. Okay, there's gonna be a day where somebody actually does make all the alts. And that is the day in which I've peaked. That means I've made it.
Would you find it weird if someone did make one? No. As long as that individual, whoever makes alts that use my username, don't try to impersonate me. Like, if it's for, if it's for a bit or a gag, like, something you'll see in, like, a larger streamer's chat, like, it's shown in Scootish's chat sometimes, too. Like, people will donate with, like, a pseudonym, so it'll be like, Hassan's butler number one has gifted five subs, and, like, just to have the name be read out, like, that's the bit. Like, that ca that type of goofing and gaffing, like, a little bit of RP is fine if you're RPing in chat. But, like, if you're trying to, like, make accounts that are me, that's not okay. Okay, we had Lemon and Gim. We also had a resub today. So, chatters, our last name of the day. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate to the channel. I think Ryan's name is... Oh, Ryan's chat color is white. Red. I'll do red. Oh, this red is busted. Oh, so is this one. I need- I need to save up to get another combo set. I mean, I've had my tombos for... Right before I graduated high school. Holy shit. Six years. You've been using your phone as a hotspot? Oh no. Oh, because you just moved, right? Dude, I fucking hate... Not having stuff set up when you move. It was the most frustrating thing when we moved here. Because, like, the internet wasn't strong enough, so that's why I couldn't stream for, like, a week. And also, we didn't have garbage set up either. So we had to wait like a week and a half before garbage would pick up our shit. <laughs> That's so messy. Yeah, we just had to like... We just like put all the food trash outside like immediately. Like, just in the bin. Because, like, we had the bins, but they weren't, like, licensed with the city to be picked up. Because the, the person who owns the unit had to, like, reactivate it, kind of. So he had to contact the city and just add us to the pickup list. So we would just put the, the food trash in the bin outside. But then, like, the non-food trash we would just put in bags in, like, the garage until we had it set up. Which was fine, but still, like, annoying that it wasn't fucking set up. You didn't have gas for a day? Oh no. Paying for garbage is so dumb. I agree. Because the city takes it away. We pay our taxes. Why should we have to pay? Way too based. Let's make our city smelly in, like, New York. Where's Max so they can defend themselves? I mean, that's another thing. It's like, why do we have to pay for electricity or water, too? Like, why is that not provided by the government? I think that is insane. Like, call me a socialist, but... <laughs> the sun is free, exactly.
Okay, once again, thank you, Ryan, for the three-month resub. Enjoy the newest subscriber badge. Three months. Let's go. Okay, Chaz, that was our last name of the day. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Last call. Oh, I forgot there's emotes on this overlay. Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, last call, last call. Y'all got five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. We're done, everybody. Haha, <laughs> no more emotes. <laughs> um, I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out today. Sorry if I was a bit tired. I am very tired. I do I need to figure out why I'm waking up so early. <laughs> I, I dead ass think it's because of my weighted blanket. Like I hit REM sleep so fast, I've been dreaming every night. But then since I'm able to sleep more, I'm waking up earlier. But then it's also like I'm tired by 8 p.m. Like I go to bed at like eight or nine now. It's bad. I'm an adult. So maybe I need to figure it out. Do you have blackout curtains? No. Because I, 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 I said this last week. I need to find a curtain rod that won't damage the walls. I keep on forgetting. No, it's also not in the budget. <laughs> I think water, food, and electricity should be free, but must be taught how to maintain them and also taught to garden properly. Yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment fully. I do think... I think it should be free, but there should be like... They should still be monitoring your usage. Like, you can't be using, like, millions of gallons of water. Like, if you're using... Like, let's say you own a orchard for profit. Like, you sell apples. Like, I don't think the government should be paying for that in full. Like, I still think it should be provided for, like, the normal civilian. I don't know. Okay, everybody. Let's wrap it up here for today. Um, before I go... If you could, go check out my art accounts. They are, I have separate accounts on Twitter, TikTok, and IG, and Twitch for my art. I make paintings, look at these. I made all these. And the next painting drop will be at the end of June. So make sure you're following the social media and bookmark my website. That way you don't miss it. I will also be doing another giveaway stream whenever that drop is. So save your channel points, everybody. I think we'll do similar to the last time. I'll do two gift cards and then... Yeah, I'll do two gift card giveaways and then one painting giveaway. At the end of June, so go follow those accounts. Okay, I had fun today. I know today was a bit more chill. I feel like Mario Kart went a bit crazy. Okay, we'll see. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Zelda. Okay. Or make sure you have notifications turned on, that we don't miss a single stream. Okay, bye. I had fun today. Bye bye. <laughs> we should, a barter system would go crazy. <laughs> I will trade you five gallons of water for one day of electricity. Bye, Chip. Bye, Kim. Bye, Lemon. Nice, I'm gonna end right now.